Hello and welcome back to Scorpio Tech. In this video we're going to unbox and take a first look at the Royal Kludge 61 keyboard, more commonly known as the RK61. This is a 60% keyboard that you can pick up for under £40 from Banggood, who are kind enough to supply me with the keyboard for this video. With an appealing price tag, let's find out if it is worth your money. Taking a look inside the box, we are immediately greeted with the RK61 itself, but we will come back to that shortly. As you can see, the packaging is nothing special, but for this price tag, what can you expect? Also in the box, we have a user manual that outlines how to access the various function keys. 60% keyboards are very minimal compared to TKL or full-size boards. The advantage of this is that you have a smaller and more practical keyboard size, but the biggest downside for most people is the missing keys such as the arrow keys, which impact the practicality of the board. However, these are all accessible with specific key combinations. Also in the box is a plastic keycap puller, which is a nice addition. As well as this, there is a good length USB type A to USB type C cable. The RK61 is also Bluetooth compatible and fully RGB backlit, which we'll take a look at towards the end of the video. It is available to purchase in black or white and with a variety of switches such as blues, browns and reds. For this board I chose reds, which are typically favoured by gamers for having a fast actuation point and being linear, meaning there is no bump as you press down. This makes them feel more smooth and much quieter than say, blue switches that are known for their clickiness. The keyboard does feel very plasticky, but the build quality and weight is actually very solid. The keys are shaped ergonomically for maximum comfort when in use, as you can see here, and are also raised at the back to allow for a more natural wrist position. Although, I would definitely recommend getting a wrist rest for this keyboard, as the front keys are quite high and could cause some wrist strain. The RK61 has subtle branding on the front right corner. As well as this, there is a USB Type-C input on the back centre of the keyboard. Taking a look underneath, there are no adjustable feet, but this is fine as the board is already slanted. There are however four flat rubber feet to avoid the keyboard sliding around on the desk. Also underneath we can see that there is an off and on switch for the Bluetooth connectivity. As I mentioned earlier, I chose red switches for this keyboard. I used the included keycap puller to remove a few caps and take a look underneath. Considering the price, the keyboard feels very, very well made. I think the weakest area of this keyboard are the keycaps themselves, they're quite thin and light, however they do seem to be pretty scratch resistant and have little or no shine through. The only other flaw that I could find with this keyboard is that some of the larger keys, as shown here, do have quite a bit of rattle to them. However, when being used generally, I didn't notice this at all. The smaller keys also have a little bit of rattle, but again, nothing too major, and not something I noticed once when actually gaming or working with the keyboard. That was just a quick sample of the RK61's typing sound with unlubed red switches. Of course, whether you like that sound or not is completely down to your personal preference. As I stated earlier in the video, the RK61 is also RGB backlit and Bluetooth compatible. The board can connect to three devices at one time, which can be quickly swapped between via a macro, making this ideal for streamers or those working on multiple PCs or devices. The battery can also last 360 hours on standby and up to 10 hours of continuous use on a full charge. As you can see, with the lights dimmed, the keyboard actually looks pretty incredible. You can either download the dedicated software, or you can manually change between a great range of effects and colours. I'll now let the video play through the various colour settings to show you exactly what you'll be able to do if you decide that this keyboard is the one for you. Feel free to use the timestamp in the description to skip to my closing thoughts. Enjoy.
So all in all, for just £38, this is easily one of the best budget keyboards on the market right now, coming in much cheaper than its competitors such as the Ampro 2 and the Ducky 1 2 Mini. Whilst 60% keyboards aren't for everyone, they really do add something quite special to the desk and also save valuable desk space. It's definitely not perfect, but if you're after a budget keyboard, you just will not be disappointed with the RK61. Thank you all for watching this video, if you have any questions about the product, feel free to let me know down in the comments. Have a great day, and see you next time. Bye bye.